How old are you, Jim? What are your thoughts about the younger generation today? What advice would you have for the younger people of today? Learn your manners. If you could go back in time to your younger self, what would you tell yourself? People think getting older sucks, but does it really? Today, I interviewed people from their 50s, 60s, and 70s to learn about their experiences, their regrets and mistakes, and what they would like to share for our younger audience. And hopefully you take something out of it, because I sure did. Respect your elders. Let's go. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Gino, I'm from Italy. How old are you? I am 84. From your life experience, what advice would you have for younger people? I would just say one thing. My wife, she was telling me that my wife passed away. My wife is French. Tout ce qui compte à la fin, c'est que vous ayez aimé. All what it matter at the end is that you did love. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Jim Hale and originally from Syracuse, New York. How old are you, Jim? I am 84. How does it feel to be 84? It feels like, I'll show you. Okay. It feels a little like, uh, um, let me do it this way. Bing, bing. <laughs> Somebody mess with me. You know what I would do? I would run away. So what advice for younger people do you have? Trust your friends. Your friends are very important to you and make sure you can trust them, but don't be paranoid. So what would you say to young people who are afraid of getting older? Afraid of getting older, you know, and I'm afraid of getting younger. <laughs> that would be frightening. It would run beyond, way beyond my capacities. <laughs> what are your thoughts of the young people of today? Look at your context, the situation that you are in. And this can tell you a lot about the choices you could and should be making. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Mark and I'm from Manhattan. How old are you, Mark? 58 and a half. What advice would you have for the younger people of today? I don't understand what the rush is. They're all in a big rush. I'm a professor at NYU, all my students are in a big rush. They gotta get a job, they gotta do this. I, all, I, I tell my students, you're all going to spend the rest of your lives working at job. You should get a job where you shower after work before you start your job where you shower before work. So they're gonna you know, get up in the morning and print themselves and go sit in a cubicle all day and sitting as new smoking, waste their lives in a cubicle doing nothing. What's your name and where are you from? Monica Baig, and I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. And how old are you? 71. How does it feel to be 71? It feels really comfortable to be uh, full of the wisdom that you have at this age, but it's not comfortable because your body is deteriorating. And also, it's, it's not very pleasant to look in the mirror anymore and remember what you used to look like particularly in a culture that values physical beauty so intensely. I mean, you just have to get into radical acceptance and just, but I don't look in the mirror anymore because it's too depressing. What are your thoughts about the younger generation today? I think there's a lot of positivity and hope, although, and they have every reason to feel slightly hopeless based on the reality of the state of the planet. But I think one of the big problems is the use of social media. I think it's totally mentally debilitating. It's great for like, yeah, to promote your business, but like, I just, I mean, I remember what it was like to not use a, a GPS and drive overland 12,000 miles and, you know, like, and be able to do it. The adventure's gone, you know, like the travel, all of it. It's just like so busted from social media. And I'd say limit it if you can. What advice would you give to the younger people today? Travel, forgive, and just recycle everything. Don't waste anything. Upcycle, recycle, pre-cycle. Don't consume, because before long, like your collection turns into your nightmare. And you have to dissolve it. Yeah. Even though it's valuable art. For example, in my life, I've collected really valuable ethnographic art and textiles all over the world, but like you have to make sure you have a museum or somebody who wants it to give it to, otherwise it's stuff. Valuable, historical information, but it's like, don't bother with stuff, just read. Read, the one thing I would advise everyone to do, don't stop reading and be curious. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Steve Bloom, I'm from New York. How old are you Bloom? I'm 67 years old. How does it feel to be 67? old. <laughs> what advice would you have for our younger audience? Stay young. No, but you know, experiment. Uh, try new things. 
What's something that you learned from your life experience that you think young people should know today? Don't be afraid. You know, don't be afraid of the world uh, around us. There's a lot of things that are scary, but just be brave and go through it and uh, experience it as best as you can. But, you know, don't let fear stand in your way. If you could go back in time to your younger self, uh, what would you tell yourself? You were pretty wild and crazy, and uh, maybe you could have toned it down a little bit. What's your name? Where are you from? Greg Lemming from uh, Emmaus, Pennsylvania. And how old are you? 67. How does it feel to be 67? It feels pretty comfortable. It's gotten easier and I feel more grounded than I have in a long time. What advice would you have for our younger audience? Get a dog, first thing, and uh, laugh as much as possible. Find the humor in as many situations as you possibly can and uh, stay in touch with absolutely everyone you know. <laughs> what do you think about our younger society today and what are the problems that they're facing? Like what are your thoughts on them? I fear there's not enough conversation. There's uh, far too much statement about, it, about the way that things have to run as opposed to a discussion about uh, multiple opinions. <clears throat> I don't think there's enough careful consideration of um, various points of view. If you could go back in time to your younger self, what would you say to yourself, knowing what you uh, know now? Stop fretting. Stop worrying. You're doing it right. <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is Anna. And I am live here, and I, but I'm born in Sweden. I came here when I was 18, and I'm now 60 in my 60s. So I've been here for a while. So how does it feel to be in your 60s? You know what? It's it's liberating in some ways because a lot of things that you were bothered by when you were younger, you realize what a waste. That that, that bothers me a little bit. That's something I wish I knew then what I know now, mm. not to be so anxious about things. But you know, it's it's also I mean. I think right now I feel very good. That's amazing. So what advice would you have for our younger audience? To not worry so much about what other people think. You know, as long as you're, you're doing it from the right place in your heart, but to, to be okay with, with yourself and not be too. That's what I think. I'd... If you could go back in time to your younger self, what would you tell yourself? Not to be so self-conscious about things. That's probably what I would tell myself, to just do what I feel like would be something that I wanted to do and not be too worried about what my parents said or, you know, but anyway, so I try to be like that to my kids instead, you know, I try to learn from what I did not make okay to give that to them, I guess. And how old are you? How old am I? 54. And how does it feel to be 54? Not bad, not bad. Um, I, started, I had kids young, so they're up, they're grown, they're out of the house and, and I get to enjoy that. What advice would you give our younger uh, audience? I guess the, the one bit of advice I would say is, is dive in there, right? Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't, don't be afraid that you're doing things that might not be what you want to be or what you want to do forever, but find things you enjoy and get in there and experience stuff. What are your thoughts about the young society today, the problem they have? I don't think they have a lot. I love young people. Um, my daughters are millennials, and uh, that generation's awesome. They impress me so much. I think the, the one danger you have as a young person now is getting caught up in the virtual world and, and not experiencing enough of the real world and real relationships and real people. Knowing what you know now, if you could go back in time and talk to your younger self, what would you tell yourself? Yeah, I mean, this is probably for kind of the, the teenage boys who, and, and I was one, and I coached them, and like, we're not very bright <laughs> when we're teenagers. But, um, you know, again, experience things and learn things. Like, learning isn't necessarily about school and books, but just uh, new experiences and, and new things and being open to other ideas. What's your names and where are you from? Um, Kelly and I live in Miami. Florida. Michelle and I'm from San Francisco, California. How old are you? 55. 53. Oh. And how does it feel to be 55? Great. I, I feel, I mean, wiser and I can do more. I can, <laughs> it I don't know. It happens fast. It happens yeah. fast. And how do you feel being 53? I don't, I forget how old I am. I honestly do. I have to like think to myself, am I four, 51? You lose track. So what, are you, what advice do you have for our younger audience? Uh, what advice would you give a young audience, knowing what you know? Well, I, I'll say what I say to my kids, which is find something that you love to do and everything else will follow behind. And being kind is free, so just be kind to everybody. Those are the two things I say. What do I say to young kids? Uh, learn your manners and um, be kind. I agree with, I agree with you on that. Um, 
find a passion, find things that you love outside of your job. Um, or if you do love your job, that's even a bonus. So, What are your thoughts about the young society today? One major problem they have. Uh, the internet. Work ethic. Work ethic. Uh, work ethic yeah. But you seem like you have a good work ethic. Thank you, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. We should all age gracefully because it's a blessing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells and write in the comment below what you would like me to ask people next.